All week we have talked about diversity here in North Texas. Tonight we are focusing on Dallas police. Dallas's population is now 28% white, but police are 49% white. The Hispanic population has grown to more than 40%, but police are just 21% Hispanic. Ken Kultoff is live for us in Dallas. Ken, this fight goes way back in Dallas. Indeed it does. The Cedar Springs Road office building stands on the site of a former gas station where 12-year-old Santos Rodriguez was shot by a Dallas police officer back in 1973. The officer was convicted of murder and received a five-year prison sentence. One activist began his fight for Hispanic police officers, which continues to this day. At that time, there was a height requirement, <laughs> a height requirement. Rene Martinez and says the day Santos Rodriguez on the right was shot in a Dallas squad car with his older brother David, the height requirement helped explain why just 15 Hispanic officers patrolled the city. And that really brought the community to the forefront with the chief to say police recruit, police training, uh, all the things that we're talking about right now. Now two of every five people in Dallas are Hispanic and communication can be difficult when one in five officers are Hispanic. I told the boy, stop, stop. He's gonna shoot you if you're not stop. Language was an issue at the scene of an August police involved shooting. If you can't communicate, you really can't understand the issue you, and you can't address the problems. Dallas police say they've added 250 Hispanic officers the past 10 years for nearly 700 now, and they're pushing for more. A wider net, uh, we've uh, used extra recruiters, so to speak, so we can kind of cover twice as much uh, territory in the same amount of time. The past three years, 245 white officers resigned or retired. What you're seeing now is the exodus of many individuals that came into the force 20 uh, to 30 years ago. Tarleton state criminal justice expert Alex Del Carmen is from Nicaragua. He says recruiting Hispanics may be even harder now with protests against police. Qualified applicants have many choices. Pay them more, treat them better, give them a sense of security, advancement, and be able to perhaps address some of that negativity that's going around the United States. Our population is gonna continue growing beyond 40%. So that population of police officers that are Spanish speaking has to grow. Austin's Hispanic police chief was a possible replacement for the Dallas retired chief. Houston hired the Austin chief yesterday. Mm -hmm. Dallas promises police pay raises each of the next three years, but pension problems still challenge recruiters. Reporting live in Dallas, Ken Kaltoff, NBC5.